YouTube, it's your boy, the Memphis XLRA, coming at you with 100 Days Yu-Gi-Oh! Every day for 100 days, I duel the different deck every single day. Today, we're taking a look at Hungry Burger Beat Down, which is a deck all focused around this little boy, the Hungry Burger, giving him a bit of protection, giving him a bit of beat over everything, and having ourselves just a plain old good ordinary time, you know, just having ourselves a good fun time with our Hungry Burger. And we're going to have ourselves a good old fun day today, beating over stuff. Big shout out to Mr. Libra October, the guy who suggested today's deck. And so we're going to go ahead and get started with today's deck. Have ourselves a good time. And let's get started. All right, our first opponent trying to go first with this deck. Can also go second, honestly, but in this situation, we're just going to go first for it and just have ourselves a good one about it. All right, go ahead. Yeah, Master Rule 5. I don't really care. My deck, I don't use my extra deck all that often. It's mostly just fodder for the part of indulgence. Just gonna go ahead and indulge myself in some extra draws. Alrighty, let's see here. Let's go for pre-prep of rights. Let's be add ritual spell and monster, because they, you know, hamburger recipe lists the burger. So, let's see here. Um, Go ahead for a candle, I suppose. Yeah, I'd like that. I'd also like the other gin, not gonna lie. I'd like the guy that gives my monster a bit of protection. It's kind of a thing. Kind of a thing, I would have preferred it, but we didn't get it, so that's how it goes. And, see, I could go all in, all through, but doing that will leave my monster very vulnerable. So I'm just going to get every hamburger I could possibly want, and I'll be good for now. I mean, I've got Armory Call in case I desperately need it for something. Let's me add an equip, and I can equip it to a monster I control if it's an appropriate target. So basically, I just straight up, you know, play Moon Mirror Shield is basically what this allows me to do. Up against Mer Mail, I see. He ditched Megalo to summon this thing out. Adds another Mer Mail from deck to hand. Okay. I know, all I remember about Mer Mails is that they take some long arse combos sometimes. But we'll see what happens. If he tries to blow this up or something, I'll just chain it, obviously. That way I won't lose nothing. Let's see. Yeah, and then this lets you bring back Megalo. Okay. And this card special summon the graveyard treats as tuner. Is not currently tuner. Okay. I mean, granted, he's got two level sevens. I'm I'm pretty sure that's what his one monster is, but we may never know, because now it's just cross sheep. Just dang old cross sheep. He's gonna bring out one of them fusions, bring out a mud dragon. That way he gets to bring back a monster from his graveyard. Ah, and then he brings back the Stingray, I see. Very clever. Not gonna lie, that's fairly clever. Because now he's gonna go ahead and make that a tuner. And then he can, you know, synchro summon with these two and make that white or a whale. He'll have a whale of a good time. I won't have a good time because I'll have no monsters. No? Bahamut Char- Oh, wait, no, it's Bahamut Char. That's even worse. Um... I'd rather not do this, but to do it, I must. Moon Mirror Shield, go on to send you. I need you to be on send you right now, because if I don't do this, he'll just negate Moon Mirror Shield with that toad. So, honestly, this was the best option in this current situation, because... I really needed this on there to do the. So this card set the graveyard, activate a water monster's effect. Face up card, destroy it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, you've got to be bloody kidding me. He had the perfect out to my moon mirror shield. Well, um. Darn it. As much as I want to get that field, that, that, the, the moon mirror shield, it's not going to work. Because I need my ritual spell to go off, otherwise I'm just dead. I'm dead to rights, this is how it is. Like, ugh, I gotta say, I am a little miffed. Little miffed at the Atlantean Heavy Infantry. I knew he had this, but I'm still a little upset about it. Plus, he's got this darn unicorn now. Well, at the least Bahamut Shark's not on the board, so that's one good thing. Granted, he gets two attacks, and he gets to just attack into me. He's just going to attack everything I own. He's going to attack with these two, and then attack me twice with Megalo. It's sad, but true. 
And he's got that one negation off of this frog. This dang old frog has got that one negation on me. I just feel a little miffed, not gonna lie. If he had just had any other of his monsters, I might have stood a chance there with my Moon Mirror Shield. But, as it stands, we're just gonna have to go for it. Let's go for Hamburger's Recipe. It's sad but true. I don't have a method of getting around his monsters. It's sad but true. It's sad because all I wanted for Christmas was to get around his monsters. Sadly, while I can make my opponent discard and I can draw, it's not enough. It is not enough. So unfortunately, this first duel is a loss, and I hate to say it because I had all this cool stuff planned with that Moon Mirror Shield, but my opponent just had that darn toad, so... Ugh, that's unfortunate. I hate, I hate starting on a loss. I don't do it often, but I do. So let's go ahead and go for duel number two. And have ourselves a better time. Let's let's state let's dust ourselves off and have ourselves a better second duel. All right, your second opponent. We'll see what happens this time around. I got a better feeling about second duel. That first guy, he just had the outs to the things, and it's not you know it's not you know. I was about to say not fair, but I was I should be saying not enjoyable. It's not fun when your opponent's got all the outs to everything you want to do, and all you're doing is playing hungry burger. So let's go ahead, Hungry Burger. We're gonna play our pre prep of rights. Get ourselves some hamburger. Good old hamburger. And let's see, go for our Manju of the 10,000 hand. Go ahead and add ourselves another ritual spell. Well, actually, I'll get another burger. I already have two ritual spells in my hand. Don't really need to go for another one. Let's go ahead and. Advanced Ritual Art. This will let me summon out my ritual boy. Using a normal monster in my deck. So I'm going to go ahead and use Gaia Teko Megami. Bring out our Hungry Burger. And I could go farther, but I'm just going to end my turn. You know, I'm not going to go whole hog first turn when I don't have the total protection that I would prefer for my Hungry Burger. I'm just going to sit on this Hungry Burger. He's a 2,000 monster. What could possibly get around that? What could possibly get around the Hungry Burger? Alright, going up against some next. Lots and lots of next. Okay. You get their effects as long as you control any of those monsters. Cannot special summon from extra deck except fusion. Okay. Interesting choice. Interesting choice indeed. Let's go for another hamburger recipe. As much as I would really like to have my protection, I'm just going to have to sit on the moon mirror shield for now. It's sad but true, but at least I'll beat over Neos. We'll just get rid of dang old Neos, what can I say? We're up against Neospatians. It's a deck I've always liked, Neospatians. I remember playing them when they first started coming out with new support. And they're, they're enjoyable to play. They got a whole variety of stuff they can do. Uh, and if he gets out that Grand Mole... Can he banish this to get a Grand Mole? Uh, No. Okay. I was about to say... That would certainly be bad for me if he could do that. But at the moment, we're good. I've got Burger with Shield, and I've got a Dimension Guardian to make this even stronger. Uh, but it looks like my opponent has bricked. Not gonna lie, it looks like he bricked. But we'll see. I mean, he still has a chance, man. One of those could be Mirror Force or something. Or worse, Storming Mirror Force, which would be something I could recover from, but at the same time, I don't want it to happen to me. So you see, he's got something. He's got something. But he didn't want to use it on this burger, so that must imply that he has something to bring back a monster. That's going to be my guess. Maybe he has, like, I don't know, Call by the Hunt, Call of the Haunted or something. I don't know. He's got something. He's got a whole lot of something, but it looks like he's not going to be doing any of that something today. It's sad but true. The uh, Neospatians. I guess he just bricked. I feel a little bad. I feel bad because while I am showing off my deck and I'm showing off the burger beatdown, all I did was beat up a poor Neospatian player. So, I guess I'll have to call that a win because I did technically win that duel. Let's go for duel number three and find ourselves a better opponent. Alrighty, our third opponent. 
Let's see if so far it's been a day. It's been one of those days. First guy had every out to us, second guy got bricked to us. So we'll see how it goes. This is a nice opening hand because I've got all the searching and draw I could ever want. I've got both incantations. And I'm gonna go ahead and pre-prep of the rights. Go ahead and get out my third burger. Uh this lets me add the ritual spare, so I'm gonna go ahead and use Talismandra. Reveal the fact that I've got Hungry Burger. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bring out Candol. There you go. There you go. Go ahead and use Candol's effect. And add a hamburger recipe. You know, I just feel like hamburger recipe would be the thing to do. And you don't do anything for me, Senju, because I have all my monsters, so I'm gonna set you and end my turn. And I think we'll be alright for now. You know, I've got all the things I could ever want. I doubt he'll- well, he could get rid of all these, I'm not gonna lie. It's fully possible. But at the same time, I've got all the hungry burgers I could ever want. I've got Candle number two, if I need it. Uh, Burning Bamboo Sword. If you activate a Bamboo Sword while this card's face up in the Spell Trap Zone, skip opponent's main phase one. Ah, uh, it's Bamboo Sword stuff. With Elemental Heroes, apparently. Alright, so he's gonna be dumping Shadow- no, Malicious. Okay. So this is some sort of non-standard hero deck, that's fine by me. I mean, there's plenty he can do, he's probably gonna go out for a draw- or a cross guy. And then he can bring back Malicious, and then do all that stuff- no? I must be off tonight or something, every time I'm predicting things, my opponents aren't doing the things that I would like them to do. I mean, he's got his old, he's got Malicious still. He certainly has Malicious and he's probably- yeah, he's got the broken bamboo sword. Then he's gonna got the golden bamboo sword to draw some more cards. That's what bamboo sword does, man. He just draws for days. It's one of the stronger draw engines. It's pretty nasty. Not gonna lie. He could do a lot of stuff, especially if he had that burning sword. He could skip my main phase one, which is never fun. But my opponent has surrendered. Alright, well. You know what? I'm not gonna count that one. As much as I'd like to just say, okay, I won, let's go for another duel. I am going to go for a bonus duel, but I'm not going to count this one, because my opponent just rage quit for I don't know what reason. So let's go for actual third opponent and uh, just, you know, go for something better. Alrighty, our actual third opponent. We're just going to go ahead and try to go first and see what happens. Alright, this hand is not that good. Not gonna lie, this hand is a little atrocious. I with a, I mean, if I can get a ritual spell, I'll be good because I got armory call. I've got the Jin Demolisher of Rituals to give my burger some targeted protection. So, really depends on what our opponent's playing. He's playing some harpies. I mean, harpies could do some stuff. Don't get me wrong, but he's already gotten rid of his pet dragon. If he summons another one, this is gonna be a very odd harpy deck because. Who plays more than one Harpy's Pet Dragon, am I right? Alright, so he's got Perfumer. This lets him get any Harpy Spell Trap. Okay, Duke. You can get anything that lists Harpy Lady Sisters in its text. Alright, he's gonna get Elegant Egotist. Obviously, that is one of his better cards. I don't know, man. This goes just be pending on what he goes for. I'm a little curious as to what he's going for. Obviously, he's going to go for... Uh, I don't know. It could be a lot of things. Harpies are fairly versatile. Not going to lie. You got to head for Harpy Lady Numero the Uno. All right. I'm thinking of whether he's going to go for some more of the Burden of Kings or not. I mean, that's certainly something he could do. And if he did that, I would be in a smidge of trouble. Because then he would be again to swarm board with big powerful birds. And those big powerful birds could do some stuff. But now he's going for Lightning Chidori. I mean, luckily I can chain this, otherwise that would be a problem. But as it stands, I've got Armory Call to just add an equip spell. That way I'll have that equip spell for later. Let's get ourselves a Moon Mirror Shield. And yeah, Armory Call, you did your job, so good job there. And now it's just going to go for battle phase. It's going to attack with the Jory and attack with the lady. 
I'm gonna take some damage, but if I can ritual summon, I'll be fine. I've got Moon Mirror Shield, and I've got the gym. That's all I really need at the end of the day, is these two, and I'll be fine. I'll be fine, I'll be dandy, everything will be swell. All I need to do is ritual summon. And that shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Ah, Swallow's Nest, you say? You gonna go for Sacred Crane, maybe? I mean, that's what I would consider. It'd get you another draw, get some more damage on board, but you can summon whatever you bloody want. That's just how this card works. Anything with the same level, it has to be a Winged Beast. Yes, indeed. Okay, he's going for flat damage output with Harpy Queen. That's ex that's understandable. It's understandable. I would like to do more damage, too. Honestly, though, Sacred Crane, a little slightly better. Less damage, but more draw power. Ah, oh, but he had another He had another one. Are you going to be kidding me? He had, a, he had two Swallow's Nests. I swear, if you have a third one. If he has a third one, I'm just playing dead. But hopefully he only has the two. It would be a little ridiculous if he had all three in his hand this whole time. That would be just a smidge ridiculous. I'm just waiting. Okay, he did not have the third one in his hand. Good. I was about to say, if he had the third one in his hand, I would be a little miffed. Just a wee bit of the miff. Alright, so now you've got your Harpy Queen and you're going to go ahead and link into something. Uh, probably into Harpy's Conductor? Yep. If a Harpy would be destroyed by a card effect, destroy a spell trap you control instead. Yep. So do you have a spell trap to protect this or no? That's a good question. Yes, he does. Okay. That's probably a steric sign. I'd go off on a limb and say so. I would say that that is more than likely what that is. Alright. So now it is time for the Pot of the Indulgence. Let's go ahead, get rid of that dang old extra deck that we don't need, and draw some more cards. Alright, free prep of rights, I like. Now I'm going to get to add myself a monster and a spell, and that'll be good. We've also got Manju, so I'm liking this. I'm liking what's going on here. All I needed was one draw, and that's what we got. We might be a little bit of a difference in life points. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care because things are going just fine. Let's go for Manju, the 10,000 hands. Get ourselves another ritual spell. That way I can just swarm out and summon two Hungry Burgers. Oh. Harpy's Featherstorm. Okay, well that's slightly annoying, but whatever, doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and use our Jin the Demolisher and our Manju. Bring out Hungry Bag. So this can't be targeted by my opponent, and I play the Moon Mirror Shield. So now I can beat over everything. So let's go ahead and beat over Harpy's Conductor. Granted, it'll probably protect it. Unless this is something really important to him, he's going to protect it. Alright. Okay, so Harpy's Roosty. Okay. Uh, that doesn't do anything in the graveyard. Okay, good. Okay. So now we're good. I can beat over anything he summons, and this can't be targeted by anything. So, probably gonna be good. Let's see. This card, normal special summon, add a spell trap, grab to hand. That lists harpies. Alright. So, you're gonna get Elegant Egotist back or something? That could be not so good. If he goes for, like, I don't know, Tornado Dragon or something? Because then he can just blow up my Moon Mirror Shield. And that would not be good. That would be the opposite of good. That would be what we in the business would call bad. It really depends. I mean, this does seem to be non-standard harpies. Therefore, there is a good chance of Tornado Dragon. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What can I say? But, oh, boy. What is going to happen? All I want to know is... Does he have the capacity to go for these combos? I'm going to say probably. No. Wait. Why didn't he get back a thing? Um. Weird. Oh, during the end phase. Oh, I'm dumb. I don't play Perfumer that, or Oracle that often, so I don't remember exactly what it does. 
Okay, so he's got Elegant Egotist, which implies that he's going to do all that stuff I said earlier uh, next turn is what's going to happen. So in the meantime, I'm going to have to go for as much as possible. So go ahead for Tail of Mandra. Go ahead for Incantation Boy. Get Hamburger Recipe. Gonna have to go for as much flat damage output as humanly possible. And I could use the Jin in my grave, and I'm gonna do that just to give myself a little bit of extra protection. So now this can't be targeted either. And let's go ahead and bring out our guy, Tenno Megami. Good old Megami. Let's go ahead and beat over everything he's got. Go ahead and attack Great Fly. He's gonna get a monster back. But there's nothing I can do about that. Sad to say, there's nothing I can do about it. Yep, Great Fly gets a monster. It'll be a harpy. So he can use that dang old egotist on it. Alright. But I'm still gonna do some dang old damage here, okay? I'm sick of being on the receiving end. It is time for Hangry Burger to start laying into my opponent. What did he get back? Chandler? Oh, I would pretty much guarantee it's just Chandler. Because Chandler is best Harpy. I don't even need to look. I don't need to look. I already know what he's got. Alright, so let's attack with our Megami. And it's really going to depend, man. It really depends on what he has in that extra deck of his. You know, because he's got the Harpy's Chandler. If he, just, if he drew a Harpy card, he gets to summon another Harpy. If not, he still has Egotist. Alright, so he's just going to go straight for the Egotist. Summon another Harpy from the deck. Got to get Harpy Lady Numero Uno. Alright. All depends on what he has in that darn old extra deck. He's got... Cowboy. Well, now I just feel silly. I just got Cowboyed for game. Oh, goodness gracious. Well... I am clearly off today. Not gonna lie, a little off today. But I've got one more duel to redeem myself. Let's go for our fourth opponent. And just, you know, do something here. Alrighty, fourth and final opponent. Gonna see if we can make this one work. It's been a bit, it's been a bit of a day. Been a bit, bit of a day. But we'll see. I've got my prep of rights. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my burger. Not that all set up, I'm not gonna lie, everything's set up alright. I just need more, I need my Moon Mirror Shield and all that good stuff. Uh, go ahead and ditch those two, bring out the Burger who cannot be targeted by things. Summon out Manju that'll allow me to get Ritual Spell Card. I'll go ahead and get Advanced Ritual Art just in case. And I'll set a card, we'll see how it goes after that folks. I just need my Moon Mirror Shield, and I'll be good. Then my burger shall destroy everything. We're up against some crawlers. Alright, well, crawlers are certainly a thing. Granted, he can't target me with anything. So, it's all a matter of, do I get Moon Mirror Shield or no? Although, that World Legacy Field spell will stop my burger from attacking his monsters. Which is a sad but true state of affairs. Because this will just straight up destroy my monster if I battle into him. Doesn't even destroy it. It just sends it to the grave. So, yeah. That's not necessarily good. I mean, I'm still going to try this, but it's not going to work, sad to say. Oh, wait. It only works on, um... Yeah. It's only when I destroy flip monsters. Okay. So I'm still good in the hood. Let's go for our pot of the extravagance. Go ahead and banish some cards. Come on, Moon Mirror Shield. Not a Moon Mirror Shield, sad to say. I wish it was Moon Mirror Shield, but it's not Moon Mirror Shield. Although, I might actually need my, um, might actually need my extra deck for once. Let's see, what did I banish earlier? Two Lightnings, two Primes, all Primes. Alright, well I can still make Utopia. I didn't actually think I'd be making anything out of the extra deck today, but here you go, there you go. I'm just gonna be making Utopia the Lightning Boy and beating over his monster. I was not expecting to actually use this today, but <laughs> this is why we actually make it so the extra deck works for us in this deck. It's for that one instance where it actually matters. So now we've got our Hungry Burger. 
I probably could have summoned another Hungry Burger, but it wouldn't have resulted in a win anyway, so it's fine. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good and all that good stuff. Starting to regret Cerberus. I probably should have put Phoenix in here, but whatever. Whatever indeed. So he's got his Chalice. He gets to banish that. To add a World Legacy card. Alright. I mean, all that matters is I still got Utopia the Lightning. I can still beat over stuff with it if I can't, you know, beat over him with 5,000. Sonic Jammer. Opponent can activate any spells to the end of the bat end of the end phase of the next turn. Dang, sucker. That's some old school tech. That card's ancient. My goodness. Well, he's got Gleal. He's got Worm Baits. Nice little tech god. I played Crawlers the other day, and I can tell you for a fact that Worm Baits a nice little god. Let's bring out all these tokens, and as that mimic clay, interesting. All right, well now he's gonna go for pick a Felena. All right, so now he gets to discard Crawler, equip another monster. He can shuffle back some cards to go ahead and draw another card. Yep, he can shuffle three bugs, and all the Crawlers are bugs. All right, he's gonna go ahead and get all that stuff. Yep, Gleal is still on the board. Got his World Legacy Shadow to just go ahead and summon out another monster. Alright. Alright, indeed. He still has Gleal, but this is fine. I've still got Utopia the Lightning. Even though, like I said, I still can't, you know, boost its attack or nothing. Because I didn't have Utopia or nothing. But it's fine. You know, he can go for his Neurologus. I don't care. It's all good for me. I'm fine with this. If this card is destroyed battle leads field because of card effect, do stuff. Okay. Pretty standard crawler. I mean, I'm going to take some damage, but I still can't be destroyed. My Hungry Burger stands resolute. In the face of all the adversity we've had today, he stands resolute. Let's go ahead and Tails Mandra. Going to go ahead and get Tails Mandra and Candall out here. Candall's going to get me another ritual spell. Things will be fine and dandy. I'll get myself a burger recipe. And I think I can win with this hand, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, first off, let's go for Advanced Ritual Art. Summon out our first burger. It's like I work for McDonald's or something, even though I don't. It's like I'm summoning out all these burgers. And use these two, just because. Alright, I have all the burgers in the world. It's time for battle phase. So Utopia will beat over Neurologus, so that Neurologus doesn't get any effects or anything off. There you go. Let's go ahead and beat over Picofolania. And there you go, folks. This is the duel we've been looking for all day. It's been a rough day, but Burger finally got the win we wanted. Okay. Alright. I'm happy with that one. I'm happy, because we summoned all the Burgers in the world and just beat into our opponent. Let's go ahead for end screen, talk about the deck a bit. Alrighty, everybody, Hungry Burger of 2020. It, it was a rough day, I'm not gonna lie. We didn't get all the wins I would have liked. I didn't get all the stuff I ever wanted, but sometimes that'll happen to you. Might have to fix up the deck a little more. Might need more Moon Mirror Shields. I didn't think I'd need a third one, but there you go. Hindsight 2020 and all that good stuff. But regardless of all that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's deck. I hope you enjoy the concept of the deck, if, even though we didn't get all the great duels that I normally would like to show off. This is one of those days, folks. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed. Smash like if you enjoy Hungry Burger, if anything else. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another exciting deck. Don't know what deck yet, but we'll see what it is. So, until next time, you boy, the Memphis Accelerate is signing off. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.